Hi, I'm Louis Poloni, team rider over here at Redux, and I'm here to talk about an exciting new development called implants. What these are, are small, simple, yet extremely effective inserts onto your board that allows you to change your concave, to change the feel, give definition, give placement for your feet. And it can add a lot of confidence, yet a simple change. One of the exciting things about it is there's a lot of different shapes and sizes that you can do to adjust it to your preference. Starting off with the larger radial drop. This one right here mounts with four or two truck mounting hole, uh, screws and you put it on your board and you can put it on frontwards, backwards, there's a lot of different options. Um, you can even get a little crazier with uh, snowboard technology, some gears so you can change it a little left to right to your preference depending on goofy regular. After uh, developing it with the crew over here, we've come with my Pro Insert, which is a smaller yet extremely effective uh, implant that allows you to give definition to your board. It lets me know where the exact center of my board, because you know if you have weight on the left, you're turning left, you have weight on the right, you're turning right. And if you have it in the center, you're stable, no speed wobbles. To mount these onto your board, you don't need anything extra. You can use all your existing equipment and you're good to go. I'm gonna start off with tightening the front bolts first to get the truck into place and make it easy to shift the back one around. I probably don't need to make sound effects because the drill's doing that anyways, but I don't know. So, first thing you do though, is you just tighten it lightly just by hand so you can shift it around to make sure that is the spot you want. See, it might move around a little bit, that's no big deal. You just give it a couple cranks, and now you're able to shift it back. Here, let's see, now it's in tighter. All right, see, there it's there. That side's good. Now let's go over to the right. The implant might be flexed or not necessarily touching the board. It's actually meant to be flexible to conform to all the different concaves of the board. If it didn't sit like this, it'd probably be an issue because it wouldn't want to flex to the board when you put the grip tape on it. So, let me just put this on the ground real quick to make sure I put it in the right spot. Ugh. Let's see here, yep. As you can see right here, this is right where my front foot walks in. It really helps, gives the center of my board. I don't have to look down on my board to see where my front foot is. I know where the center is, I know where the left is, I know where the right is. And it really helps with tucking and toe side slides. That's where I want it. Now it's time to tighten it down. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way by hand. Now, the final step. All you need is a sheet of grip tape. And as you can see, it's very, it's not very visible, but yet an eighth of an, a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch, depending on the size that you choose and thickness, it makes a huge difference in the feel and right of your board. You hear that? That's the grit right there. That's what locks you onto your board. All right, file down your edges, get your razor blade, and there you go. Once it gets started, it's just like butter. Bam. All right, once you got your grip tape on, you're ready to go and ready to ride. One of the things I love about the implant is the fact that how simple, non-noticeable, yet effective it is. I've never been a big believer in toe stops, foot stops, corn wheels on board, whatever funny thing people are putting on the front top, because it could be a true sub to like where you're able to put your board and your effective platform on your skateboard. This, small, yet effective. Gives me a point of reference on my board and a little bit of extra concave where I want it. It's one of the best additions I've had to my new skateboard. I love it.